32 degrees. Nine, thank you for the raid, buddy. I appreciate that, man. Or, or host, rather. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, thank you. I saw everything. The connection between two worlds. About a century ago. Also, is that Pride Humans Koala? Oh, I love it. I love it. Invaders from the other world. Then came the Colossi. Immediately I get Outriders, Anthem. Everything. There's a third one that I get. I can't I think of it. Outriders and Anthem are definitely... Immediate vibe. Resisted until they could no longer. Then they found hope. What? They were gifted the forgotten ancestor's power. Finally, they could fight with newfound strength. But another threat had emerged. Karel, the new leader of the Vulcus. His dark ambitions are driving both worlds to the brink of collapse. We must fight back. Is this on PlayStation? As far as I know, With the beta anyways is on Steam PC. I don't know if this is cross-platform. Let, let me look. Descendant, can you hear me? I've been waiting for you. Oh my. See, this that part right there, especially. Outriders, right there. I think it is. I think it is. The first Ascendant, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Yep. Yeah, so you're good if you want to play it on your console of choice. Yo! Oh! So yeah, right away I'm noticing every transition there's a stutter, but I think that's no. the way they packaged this and our only presented the cutscenes in the beta. Maybe hopefully that'll change in full release, but we'll see. But it looks like every transition there's a tiny stutter. Destiny. That was the other one I was trying to think of. Is it a little too loud? They... Let's go! Hell yeah. Warframe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It will, I, I can see how Destiny kind of sneaks in a little bit with the loot, but no, the top three are definitely Outriders, Anthem, and Warframe. Yes. Bingo. This is the beta. Yes. Yeah, the beta runs for about a week. So um, if you have a PC and you want to play it, Steam is literally throwing keys at everyone's faces. You don't have to be special. You'll, you'll get in. <laughs> I'm glad I could help. Oh yeah, we're definitely playing as her. I like her ice abilities. It's over if you freeze it. Yesa has the ability to freeze Fulgus using water in the atmosphere. She doesn't even care if the enemies dodge the ice sphere or ice sheets. <laughs> her blizzard is like a natural disaster. There's no way to escape it. Active skill: ice beam. Fires an exploding ice beam, inflicting damage and ice shackle around the area it hits. For the record, we'll be playing all of the characters, um, but I'm going to probably start with her. Ice shackle effect increases by one stage when hit, increases by two stages if hit by the exploding area. It says frost fog. I'm just We're just going to look at the video. Oh, increases running speed and shield. Ice wave. Releases an arc of cold air in front. Nice. Creates a snowstorm that explodes over time. Epic. Passive skill is Ice Sphere. Upon inflicting Stage 2 Ice Shackle on one or more enemies, creates an Ice Sphere circling Fiesta. Nice! Select. Does PlayStation have the beta? I think only Steam does. I think only Steam does right now.
Hello! Oh! Yeah, every transition there's like a small stutter. Hopefully that gets ironed out. <laughs> Yeah, nine. I, I get that vibe. Yep, I agree. Bye bye. <gasps> bye bye. A uh, bye bye. <laughs> Okie dokie, Smokey. Okay. Send it. I can't confirm your location. If you're all right, try to move around. No major injuries, Alpha. Shift to sprint. Good. Classic. Classic. I picked up the seed signal. Now I'll guide you to the meeting point. Let's go! Nice, Why nice. Now? Hard to reload, of course, of course. Move through the ruins, alright. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, whoa, we're sliding, we're sliding. Okay. Whoa, I can't move. Jesus. Alright, I can't tell if I want the volume up or down. I'm not sure, but I'm underground. It looks like an old cave. I'm going in. There's space to jump. Watch out. Press it again while in the air. We'll perform a double jump. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. They blew up the bridge. Oh, naturally. So yep. To launch grappling hook. We. Oh, that's cool. There's the Warframe influence. Oh, you can put it on anywhere. Oh, nice. How many times? Is there like a cooldown for it or is it just unlimited? Like the place could collapse at any moment. Any signs can we be Spider-Man? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I have definitely got to practice away. with this grappling hook. Holy crap. That's sick, bro. Uh, to switch weapons. Okay, there we go. A little shoddy action for you. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh my god. Dude, you're sniping them with the shotgun. Look at that. Finally, a shotgun that, that actually works and you don't have to be two centimeters away from their face. That is nice. Holy crap. Press the F button to attack a nearby enemy. All right, that's our melee. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hiya! Oh my God, dude, we just one punched him. What's this? Is that ammo? Q to use skill. Okay. Hiya! Ho ho! Oh God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whoa! I did not know how to sniper rifle. Okay. I see that now. I see it. Woo! Woo! Alright, so that's ammo. I don't know what this is. Oh, HP. Okay. General rounds full. Got it. Got it. Um, I want to change that button. Do, 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 do. We're going to put this right there. 
Oh, so much better. So much better. Target signal locked. Be ready. You'll run into it soon. You're all alone out here, but the executioner was injured in the previous battles. So I'm all alone. Oh, I forgot to change my camera settings. Hold on. Shit. Hi. Alright, there we go. Um, press tab to see the destructible parts. Okay. Hello. Uh, destructible parts are highlighted when the... Okay. It's possible to remove certain body parts using the grappling hook. Oh! Yo! Yo, that was hot. That was hot. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, can I not get on it? Oh! Oh, there's a dodge. Nice, nice. There's a dodge. Okay, okay. Freeze! Oh ho! I'm a little busy. Stop shooting me from behind. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I was worried that the uh, frame rate would drop a lot during that battle, but it didn't. So, nice. says emergency transition when in fact their transitions in the cutscenes are a little booty. <laughs> oh. Ooh, nice cape. Nice cape, dude. I like it. Curb stop. They thought they were fighting for honor. Bring me the heart of fire. Immediately. Oh, immediately. Okay. Got it. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Yo. What do we got going on here? The cube. <laughs> and that's the anthem. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I hope this game succeeds. It, it really all lies within the, the end game, in my opinion. So far, combat's fun. I like the way it looks. Barring the uh, the stutters <laughs> during cutscenes. Um, not bad so far. Not bad. Transformers You're Cube, back. you got it! You got I'm it. I'm glad you made it out safely. I'm at headquarters right now. Meet me there. It's been okay, social hub. Been face -to -face. Hi, Booba. Um, let's see how many people... Wait, wait, wait. Is that other... Are these bunny ears? Oh my god. We need that armor. Immediately. So evidently you can't customize your character like per se to, to look exactly like you want, but your, your appearance changes as you equip different armor types. So there is that. What's this? We are investigating what the Vulgus and the Colossus... Uh, you, oh, you have a great memory? I can tell. I can tell. I'll, uh, I'll have to lean on you for... Any kind of past events that I need refreshing on. Seneca the Sage can predict the route of Colossus coming to Ingress through the Void, and he also has cats. He delivers information about the Colossus and intercept battle to the Descendants. Okay, alright. 
Wait, wait, oh, is this like a mission thing? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> hey, what's up, Toga? How we doing? Enter the void space and intercept the Colossus threatening Ingress. Oh, okay. Required items to participate in intercept battle. You need compasses to start an intercept battle. You can obtain them from consecutive defense and consecutive survival missions. Oh. Select the Colossus you're trying to intercept. If a Colossus is unavailable, check the prerequisites from the tooltip and proceed the intercept battle. That's a lot of information. You can see the amorphous material linked to the selected Colossus. Defeating the selected Colossus allows you to open the amorphous material once, which contains research materials for descendants, runes, and crystallization catalysts. However, uh, hover over the amorphous material to see the reward. Jesus, I can't breathe. <clears throat> I approve of the lack of rats. Yes, we are we are pausing since this beta is time sensitive. We are jumping in before, of course, the Modern Warfare 2 beta at 1 p.m. ET. Hashtag not an ad. To start an intercept battle, you need to wait until you are matched with four descendants trying to intercept the same Colossus. If you don't like the wait, look for four party members and start the intercept battle immediately. Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> well, we don't have any compasses. Damn, can you get to level 46 in the beta? That's sick. Um, okay, so this is definitely their endgame content. I Listen shouldn't do that yet. <laughs> World Mission Terminal. Here we go. Connecting. Uh, descendants are expected to carry out special missions for the peace of Ingress. Challenge and push yourself to the limit of, of to win rewards, but headquarters asks for a joint operation as a basic. Instructions from headquarters. We wish for your prosperity, descendant. We believe descendants will be joining this mission after enough training. Uh, yet there have been reports of injuries due to inattention. Thus, you are to carry out this mission with selected colleagues, seniors, and juniors. Operations Commander Alpha. Uh, okay, we got world missions here. Uh, I can move the map a little bit. Everything's locked. I mean, it, I guess, you know, it is a, uh, a beta, so, of course. Whoa! Shows you the rewards you'll get. Difficulty. What's all this? HP increase. Oh, oh, the buffs and stuff. Buffs and stuff. Black mana is spreading, blah, blah, blah. I can't start this mi Wait, what? Cannot progress as starting conditions aren't met. Okay. Well, let's see what we're supposed to do first. There's so much stuff! Quest terminal. Device to deliver useful information to the descendants. Okay. Talk to Alpha at Albion headquarters. Alright. Sorry, I just wanted to explore. Looks like we got a weapons vendor over there. Mail inbox. Whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Enjoy it if you can't avoid it. I'm interested in the story in the end game, but the story looks good so far. Yeah, so far. Real name Gregory McConnell. He is a descendant commander who swapped field work for paperwork at headquarters. What a poo say. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Return to Albion. Corral and the Legion of Darkness haven't been seen for a while. And there were rumors that he was dead. But it turns out he's alive and well. Pity. We've had intel he's hiding in Kingston. Our plan was to increase the number of human settlements starting there, but now that Corel is sniffing around, we might have trouble achieving that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Our priority now is to figure out what Corel is up to. Lieutenant Chalet mm -hmm. from Kingston is already conducting an investigation. You're being sent there to help. Make your preparations in Albion and come back to me when you're set. Okay, I didn't pay attention to any of that. Let's go. Press I button to open I and view equipped item. Okay. Uh, check Descendants Equipment and Stat from Inventory. Move to W Info Screen to see detailed stats. Their uh, user interface engineer, um, spot on. Good job. Mastery rank indicates the proficiency of the player. All Descendants share the same mastery rank. Oh, level is the level of the current Descendant. Level up to enhance the Descendant's basic stat. They keep saying stat as in singular. I'm assuming we have more than one said stat. <laughs> check your equipped weapon. Descendants can equip up to three weapons. To change the weapon, click on the weapon slot. Upgrade your weapon by enhancing its weapons with runes. Check the rune connected to the weapon slot with a line. The connected rune enhances the weapon. To make the weapon stronger, click on the connected rune. Okay, next. Pressing N rune settings button from inventory screen will also show the rune screen. Oh, okay. Equip your rune to enhance your weapon, yada yada. Storm, turret, tide, thunder, and haze runes enhance the performance of your weapons. It shows weapon type enhanced by the selected rune type. Weapon shining in green indicates that it's currently equipped. Descendant rune with uh, types enhance your descendant. Equip runes that enhance the descendant's defense and skill. You can also equip melee attack runes as needed. Melee attack runes offer additional capacity. Holy hell information. <gasps> ah! 
It shows the currently equipped uh, rune. Select the empty slot to equip rune or select an equipped rune to switch with another rune. Higher mastery rank and descendant level increases the number of rune slots. Rune, rune, rune. In case I haven't said the word rune enough, rune. Shit. All runes have capacity cost. Ah. The total capacity cost of equipped runes cannot exceed the capacity limit. The limit does not exist. Uh, weapon rune capacity limit increases depending on your mastery rank. Descendant rune capacity limit increases. Blah, 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 blah. To equip more. Runes are good. Runes make things go high. Using energy act activator increases rune capacity limit. What is this now? Using energy activator increases rune capacity, which is that. Ener uh, energy activator is extremely rare and can be obtained from amorphous material at a low chance. You can obtain amorphous material by carrying out world missions. Okay. If you have the energy activator, visit Cilion. That's that thing that we didn't know what the hell it was. In Albion and proceed with increased max rune capacity. Okay. So that's what that is. Ha. Ah. Bit of a learning curve, but we'll get there. Um, all right. Applied weapon. No runes in use. So we don't have any runes right now. So, Except for the ones that we do. <laughs> no runes are equipped. Sounds like... Uh, shit. Uh, Mass Effect a little bit. In the first Ascendant, you can check your missions from the quest. Okay, cool. Main quests are based on the First Descendant's story. Proceed with stories in each region following the main quest. Yes, 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 yes. Field quest, sub quest, okay, we get that. It shows the list of ongoing quests. Um, select a quest and press X button, then selected quest will always be shown. Okay. So, ah, so that's to re-equip it and unequip it. Nice, okay. I have done enough reading. I'm done reading. I just want to play. I have to talk to him again? Okay. I'm only going to brief you on the operation this once. Investigate orders. Are you ready to go to Kingston? I am more than I ready. I don't know if you've met Lieutenant Chalet before. He's the captain of the Kingston Dispatch, and an excellent commander. His dispatch team are perhaps the bravest soldiers of Albion. Braver even than descendants in some ways. Go to Kingston and meet Chalet. He'll tell you more about the mission. Hey, All right. You do something. Do something. Select an activated region. Okay. Complete field quest. Okay. Uh, long press the left click button on the camp icon to move. Descendants can always warp to activated camps. Okay. Go to the mission beacon to start the mission. Yellow icons indicate the missions that should be preceded right now. Okay. Ongoing field quests in the region. You can see the list after entering the region first. Complete field quest to activate the next region. Okay. No information about field quests in progress. Blah, blah, blah. Indicate whether you share the area with other users. Users. Okay. You can create a Kingston field in public mode after completing the fifth mission. Is this game open world? It's Think of it uh, an open world aspect like Destiny 2. How it has multiple kind of like hub areas. That's what I would assume. Um, honestly, we're about to find out. But from what I'm seeing on the map, that's kind of what it's like. Complete the field quest uh, to activate the next map. Okay, let's do it. Let's go! I'm dying. Do, 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 do. When you deal critical damage to a monster, um, they die. I didn't get to read the rest of it. Visuals are really cool. Skadoosh. Kind of like Anthem as well, just like your base. Yeah, yeah, and then outside base world. Yep, yeah. You got it. Booba. Yeah, man, I really hope... I, I doubt it, but I really hope they iron out all the, the weird little... Like, transitional frame drops... <clears throat> yeah, I've heard references to Godfall as well. Yeah, I, I never played it, but I'd seen plenty of here. gameplay. Descendant. <laughs> what was that? They had to put those two boxes there for her to just. Eh. Descendants who came before were the ones who built it. Little fan service. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Their lives. To build camps like this one across the continent and shed light upon the darkness. That was a long time ago. 
the darkness will always find its way home. Always. Lend me your power. And I will aid you in your fight to but it's, the darkness it's once mine. Again. Descendant. It's good to see you. Hey. I don't know who you are. I says you should play it for the story because the story of Godfall is amazing. I, maybe I'll check it out. It's always on sale, and I think there's a free version of it. I think that's just the end game though. So, but yeah, it's always interested me. So maybe once the holidays start rolling closer and everything's on sale again, maybe I'll pick it up, man. I I, I definitely want to try it at least. So you're here because of the operation. Um, commander and captain of the Kingston dispatch team currently searching. Okay. Greetings, descendant. I'm Lieutenant Charlie. Yeah, I think that's the uh, that's the end dispatch. game. That's not actually the whole the like campaign. Sages, that is that's the section where they give you a high level character, we you play the end game, yet, and then but something is emitting a yeah. unique wavelength, different from the energies of the Volgus or Colossus. We thought that it was coming from somewhere near the Kingston underground area, but it recently disappeared. Corel's fleet appeared around the same time. And we don't think that's just coincidence. There must be a connection. Must be. We'd know more if the detectives must. were intact. But they were all destroyed by the enemy. So, first step. I'd like your help retrieving those destroyed detectors so we can recover the data. Okay. Yeah, a lot of people got confused, especially with uh, PlayStation Plus. Uh, one of their months, they gave that game away for free. Everyone was expecting the full, the full game, not realizing it was just the end game. So there was a lot of pissed off, confused people. <laughs> Equip new weapon. Hello. Uh, okay. It's a lot of fun things. Dude, what is that sound? But I, need you to retrieve those broken that, I feel like that's from Anthem. I feel like that's straight from Anthem. Uh, this is completely trash. Whee! Oh god. First data set retrieved. Ah. Oh, we're using the cipher. Okay, cool. 69 damage, nice. The Anthem is talking to you. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. I couldn't remember exactly what it was from Anthem, but yep, 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 yep. <clears throat> Boink. Scout rifle. Not snipey wifey. Oh, yeah, 18. Oh, God. Yesterday I was able to stream for eight and a half hours and not worry about eating. Today, I can already tell that's not the case. I'm super hungry already. There's another detector near the statue. Can we just go up here? Woo! Oh, fight! Whoa! Melee! I forgot I need to use my powers. Uh, we still only have access to Q. Okay, okay. Destiny Scout. More more influence. More influence. No goodies over here. Okay, okay. Second data set retrieved. Bye bye! Why now? Why now? Oh. I can already tell I'm gonna get tired of the uh, the audio cues for reloading weapon. <laughs> Ominous Hound level two. How do I uh I hit I to open I. I remember. I remember. Whoa. Hello. It shows all runes you own. Select the rune slot to change equip rune. Okay. Selecting an owned rune will immediately replace it with the equipped rune. Runes can be enhanced up to level 10. Obtained rune is level 0, and the enhancement level is indicated with star marks. Oh. Is this the star mark? 4 right there? Oh, capacity is 4. Okay. Cool. I love it. Okay. Um. So it says new. It shows all weapons. Yeah, I know how to... Yep, 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 yep. Talk to weapons dealer Deslin and Albion to sell weapons. Oh, you can sell them. If the slot is empty. No weapon has been equipped. Go on and equip another weapon. Okay. Selecting an own weapon will immediately blah, blah, blah. Toggle the Steve comparison tooltip on uh, how to compare the selected and equipped weapons. Okay. So, we have another one of these. Why does it look like that's a shotgun symbol? 
That's going to confuse me. Um, put that there. Oh, you get proficiency levels. That's cool. Nice. Okay. All right, nice. Boop. That is saved. Yeah. Third time's a charm. Hello there. Oh, there is fall damage. There is fall damage. Got it. Got it. Why now? <laughs> this little laugh. That was great. Level two. Let's go. Wow, reload itis. I'm reloading after every kill. Let's go! 